Good evening. <coughs> My name is uh, Pastor Israel Taguduro from United Kingdom. Tonight, I just want to do a short teaching. Differences of uh, the name of Jesus from the purpose of his power and his authority. The Bible says in um, Philippians chapter 2 verse 9, verse 9 to 11, he said, Wherefore God also has exalted him, highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every new should bow of things in heaven and things on heart and things under the heart, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. So, there's a purpose of calling the name of Jesus. Remember when Jesus uh, started um, uh, teaching, nobody followed him. He said, without signs and orders, these people will not believe. And he started casting out demons. And because he uh, is, the, is the Jesus, so <laughs> he didn't need to call, call it his own name. <laughs> he has the... <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> The Bible says when he left the wilderness, he was full with power. With power. He was full of the Holy Ghost. And he went about to do uh, the good things of God. But when he left, he gave us his name. That the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. And every tongue confess that Jesus. And since that time we've been using the name of Jesus to cast out demons, to do signs and wonders, um, to heal people of their sicknesses and diseases. But that's one place. Another place is Luke 10, 19. He said, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and up and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. I have given you authority. This authority is not, most times most people out of ignorance, they use uh, authority in the place of the name of Jesus. You see, I have given you authority to trample. This authority to trample is, is your work with God. There are so many things that out of inspiration we've gathered by reading the Bible. But sometimes, practically, when you're in the midst of wolves, snakes, scorpions, uh, the lions of this world, as in when God plays you in their midst, and the only way uh, because immediately you enter, they already see you as a light. So, now the only thing they are looking for is to quench your fire. You know, their darkness, they don't like light. So, the only thing they are looking for is to quench your fire. Is to make sure that, you, that your light will not shine. So, most times, uh, they will be getting you hungry. Because they want you to react. And practically, this is what it means to endure hardship. Why the Bible call it hardship? It's because uh, they will, it will be hard on you, or they will be hard on you. They will be hard, very hard on you. They will do things that will make you to get angry. They will do things that will make you to look like you should just slap people. They will do things like you know, they will just do all kind of things. 
but uh, being patient, you know, being patient in your midst is the only way to endure, to keep your light, to protect your light. Sometimes they go behind you to gossip. Sometimes they go and report you. Sometimes they they do things that might even make them to go and report you to the police. Or even in your place of work, they go behind you. They just they are just looking for everything to make to make sure you will react to start fighting them. So sometimes the best thing is just ignore them and just leave. I'm telling you the truth is not easy. Most times you, 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 you may have reacted and quickly come back to God to, for mercy. And you know, because God is a patient God, God loves, so he will give you another chance. So if you give you another chance and you still reacted, you come for mercy. He give you another one. <laughs> so God is waiting on you on how to master. Is to master your uh, weaknesses. Is to be strengthened. I know here yeah, people will be saying, uh, you know. Uh, by his strength <laughs> so we, we are in his strength whatever we do doesn't make sense well well let me tell you if you're in a practical like i said the other time we learn god theoretically you're in the midst of believers pastor will come and teach you things you listen you take a root in your heart as in it stays there but when god wants to check what has stayed in you, it will, what it will do is that it will put you in the midst of snakes, scorpions, wolves, kind of people. They want to fight you, they want to make you angry, they want to do things that you will fight so that they can quench your fire, so that they can dim your light. You know? But the Bible says the parts. Now, when the Bible said the part of the just in um, Proverbs 4 18, that the part of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Now, that part is in the midst of the snakes and the scorpions. That part was laid in your wilderness. Anyway, you find yourself to practically uh, bring the fruits of life. There is always a path of life being laid in that place. Normally, we are all believers, but any way you find yourself, sometimes the Bible says it's a path. And you know, this path, God is the one that laid. And the path of a righteous means that it will be the one to put your leg on that path. And most times, these paths are not laid, like I said, in the midst of the believers, in the midst of the sons. Because if everybody is patient, if everybody doesn't react, if everybody uh, doesn't react, they don't fight, how are you going to learn? How are you going to endure hardship? So God will put them, you can see the Bible says, and the Spirit of God led Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. To be tempted means that the devil will, they will react. They will bring all kinds of things. They will come pose, they, like fornicators, like adulterers. They will come in different kind of manners. But the Bible says, uh, he passed for 40 days and 40 nights. So he passed, I mean, including the nights. So the time he's supposed to be sleeping. He's still being tempted by the devil. As in, there are so many forces and reactions coming in in practical way coming in different kind of ways you know uh, uh, 
witchcraft, uh, gossipers, killers, slappers, different kind of things. I believe when Jesus said, when they slap your right side, put the left on it. I believe he learned it in the wilderness. Because let me tell you, you cannot teach what you don't have. You cannot teach what you don't have. So when the Bible says, uh, if they slap your right, put your left. Sometimes it may be, uh, it may be like he was talking uh, in the secret of the kingdom of God, as in, in Hadish. But let me tell you, either in Hadish or in physical or in practical, he, he, he has a direction. You know, and Bible says uh, that if your way places God, it will make your enemy to be at peace with you. It means that when you've been led by the devil, by sorry, when you've been led by the Holy Spirit, you know, being led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil, I believe uh, it is what, it's the same thing that the Bible called the path of the righteous. Because it's the path, Holy Spirit was the one that led him. The Bible didn't say oh, evil spirit led him. He said Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness. So the wilderness is a place that is full of uh, uh, evil people. Either spiritual evil people, uh, spirit, evil spirit, or evil spirit in human forms. The most important thing is that uh, wilderness is not a place that is full of light. Wilderness is a place that is full of darkness. You know, the Bible says, uh, uh, darkness is op upon the heart and gross darkness upon the people. So, so it means that Jesus was led by Holy Spirit in the wilderness that is one, full of darkness. And paraventure, maybe people, people in that wilderness are with gross darkness. But there is a path. Anytime, anytime, whatever, what it means, uh, the path of righteousness is like, means that Jesus as the light of God. You know? <laughs> Walking, let me explain. I, I want to cut it down, or I want to break it down. Walking means to grow. Walking means uh, how you're able to handle temptations. How you're able to handle temptations. How you're able to handle temptations. So that is what it means to walk in light or to walk in the path of light. So any any kind of uh, weaknesses that comes to you, any workers of iniquity that comes in your way to check you, to tempt you, to do all kinds of things, how are you be able to handle it in a way that you don't sin to go against God? And at the same time, you're able to keep your light. So that is what it means that the path of a righteous is like a shining light. So it means that level by level, Jesus was in the wilderness, full of darkness and gross darkness over people. As in, people in the wilderness are, are of gross, as in that darkness, as in they were, they were darkened in their hearts. As there is no traces of light in their hearts, they are full of evil. They are, and they are the workers of iniquity. They walk sin, they walk flesh, they walk iniquity, they walk trap, they walk all kinds of things. And they are level by level. Level by level. There are some prints, they are not evil 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 spirits per se. They are uh, prince, principalities meaning they are prince. Uh, 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 of uh, evil nature, evil life, you know, and this kind of thing, kind of people, they don't like light. They came in different angles, they came to gossip, to, you know, just to make you to be offended or despite that you kept yourself, you protect your light and you, you are, instead of them to find any faults. They kept finding, uh, they discovered that you are not offended. So, uh, it's supposed to be in that kind of environment for you to understand what I'm saying. Sometimes some people came to advertise their kind of life to you. Some people want you to uh, be like them. Some people want you to 
uh, begin to chase women, you know, to sleep around. Even some people, they will trap you in the midst of girls so to see if you can just make... But you are just escaping those kind. That is what it means. Escaping means to walk in the path of life. So now, escaping them bit by bit, it was Bible means by the path of the just. It's like a shining light. So it means that there is a particular level of darkness that the uh, first the first uh, part that was laid, uh, you were able to escape through. Then they now push you to another higher level. You still escape through. They put it into the third one and you escape through. The Bible says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of darkness. You can see that was what Jesus did when uh, in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights he has passed through all kind of and he passed all of them. The Bible didn't say to be tested, he said to be tempted. You know, but after that time, then Satan himself appeared to him to give, give, to give him three kind of temptation. And he also escaped through. That is what escaping through, you know, you know, finding your way through in a way that you are not offended and you're able to please God is what it means to walk on the path of life. And that is what the result is that you will be shining as in you are growing as in you are getting better that is what it means so now it makes growing it makes kind of reactions like that and not being offended and at the same time you're not feeling bad at the same time you are pleasing god you know to trample upon snakes and scorpion you know but that one is fair from calling the name of Jesus to cast out demons. You can demons are all this small, small. You can cast them out from people. But you know, devil, devil is a spirit. You know, when if, when when uh, 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 you've been addicted or your lifestyle in the world has been made, it takes spirit to make spirit because man is a spirit. It takes. Spirit spirit to make spirit let me tell you uh, flesh is the opposite of spirit but flesh is uh, also spirit in the up in the negative direction why spirit walking after the spirit is in the positive direction walking after the flesh is also the negative direction of spirit so when a spirit has made man to walk after the flesh it takes spirit you know, to reform that man, to walk after the Spirit, after the Spirit of God, or after the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. So, different between to cast out demons, you can have anointing and cast out demons. And you can have anointing and cast out demons, despite that, you have anointing and cast out demons, you are not able to walk after the Spirit. We have many of them in the body of Christ. They have anointing to cast out demons, but... Uh, they don't uh, they don't have the fruit of the spirit to uh, to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome them because somebody can have cast out demons and is sleeping with singles mother or choir mistress in the church it means that he doesn't have the ability within him to trample on he doesn't have the authority and the power you know power is the ability to do work Power is the ability to do work. So you don't have the power to walk after the spirit. But he has the anointing to cast out demons. So having anointing upon to cast out demons doesn't mean that you have the power and the authority to walk, to, to trample. To trample means to step. As in to step and to make them to remain under your foot. You know those words are in hardage. But I believe you understand what I'm saying. To grow, not to be offended to witchcraft you know and this different kind of thing came to you different kind of weaknesses walk out of the iniquity they come in their own different kind of lifestyle to make sure to lure you into sin but despite that you escape and you are not being offended and you also please god so different between casting out demons you can have anointing upon and cast out demons inside because you are uh, doing that based on the name of jesus 
but uh there is the name of jesus there is a name in the name of jesus you know in the name the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run into it and they are safe the righteous run into it and they are safe the righteous run into it and they are safe when righteous run in the name of jesus it will be saved but you can use the name of jesus to cast out demons praise the lord but you don't have the power and the authority to trample upon snakes and scorpions and hold the power of the enemy so the wilderness experience the training ground or the school of the spirit i'm telling you is not uh it's not a school that is full of light the spirit of god will follow you but in that wilderness go and check different kind of wilderness <laughs> go and check different kind of wilderness in the bible so this is what i want to share i will put uh in a was in my heart to come and share it briefly so i don't want to talk our time father i thank you for this little for this uh understanding for this light thank you for making uh us to understand different between calling the name and the authority and power to trample upon snake and scorpion thank you jesus in jesus name we pray amen till next time as the spirit leads god bless you bye